Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Final Fantasy III. We are in the ancient cave, making our way through very annoying enemies. Speaking of... Hi, Deathclaws. Run. You can just fight, whatever. Run. Run. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Come on, run. Yeah, that's a problem. Come on. Oh my god. Alright. Well. Let's see what we can do about, uh... Taking these guys out. They don't have a whole lot of hit points. Try life on Ellie. Yeah, that's the problem. So these guys split when you uh, do physical damage on them. That doesn't kill. Well, at least that was the last move, but oh my god. Alright. You fight. You build up. You move back. And you get a Cure 3 going on him. Is that enough to kill? Yes, good. There we go. Ooh, boy. Good timing. Alright, you've got the build-up gone, uh, going on you, so that should help. Um... Do I have a... I do not have a basic one. You know what? I'm just gonna use a potion. I'm gonna cure for us! <laughs> Screw that! Oh, God! Damn it! Build up is not enough to do it to kill him, huh? Seriously, Ald? All right. Well, let me uh, build up again. Let me quake. Let's cure three. Yeah, these guys are incredibly annoying. Nice! You do not get a whole lot of uh, uh, experience points for them. Whoops, not job. Row. And let's, uh... Oops. Wrong button. Let's do a little bit of healing. Alright, hopefully we don't get ambushed by those guys again. Um, Haniel and Balfrey. I think these guys can split. I'm gonna build up, just to be on the safe side. You cannot cast safe on everyone, which is a little annoying. So I'm just gonna cast on- yeah, they split. They split- they do not split from magic damage, though. So that's good to know. Did your build-up do enough? Uh, let's see... how about- no, not soft. 
Actually, let's just go with an arrow, then. Well, that wasn't a whole lot of damage, but... Wow, one whole damage. Oh, yeah, that's safe. That's pretty nice. Alright, let's hope that, uh... That is... that... We've done enough here. Uh, I don't need to do a cure, too. I'll just do a cure. Keep him topped up. Ten hits, but that's still not enough. God damn! These guys are incredibly annoying. I do not have any... Can I use a defender? Well, I can do that. And I don't have any good... I don't know if that'll... Well, I can target them all. Now, this isn't going to do a whole lot of damage, but I am curious. Okay, Defender does do defense up. Hmm. Nothing happened with either of those. I thought that was supposed to, uh, do something. And ineffective. Well, shucks. Alright. Um. I'll build up again. A quake and arrow two. No, no, no. I'll go with arrow. Man, they hit hard. So there is a secret to defeating these guys easily. Oh, holy crap! Well, that's a problem. That's better. Uh, there is a secret to defeating them, but we can't do it yet. Which is uh, kind of why it sucks that uh, they're throwing these guys at us right now. Okay! Well, we are really blowing through the uh, uh, MP. Or the... Uh, magic slots, whatever you want to call them. And we have yet another level to go. You know, if those merchants smuggled things out of this cave, where are they now? I mean, where is the stuff that they didn't smuggle out? Yes, no enemies! What? We have. We can buy otter heads. I don't know why we would want to. Well, actually, that's an exit. Uh, diamond armor, white robe, black robe, and Gaia gear. Weapons. We can buy defenders, a great axe, Yoichi arrows, a lo the Loki harp. Wow, the Loki harp goes for 40,000. Uh, the rune bell and the inferno book, illumina book, and blizzard book. And we can buy the level spe level 7 spells. Quake, Break 2, Drain, Cure 4, Heal, and Wall. This is an interesting looking place, though. Also, more importantly... Uh... Free healing! Ah, uh, slept well. HP MP restored. Smells like chocobos. Yes! an opportunity to uh, call the fat chocobo. In fact, I think I will do so.
Presenting the Fat Chocobo! There we go. Also, if I've got two diamond rings... Oh, that's right, because you've got protect rings. That's right. I forgot about that. Hmm, what is this? Time to depart. Time to depart. Now take the wheel and get go- Oh, this is her. Time to depart. Now take the wheel and get going. Ho ho! Holy crap. It's the warship from Final Fantasy II! Remember this well, if you go down that stairway, you can return to the ground. To get back aboard the airship, stand in the ship's shadow and press on the ground and press A. Also press A to put the engine in high gear and fly over mountains. The B button stops flight. Take the wheel and you can fly away, got it? Follow me! Yeah, I, I, already, I already explored it. These things are like vending machines. You can buy items from them. Wh what's a vending machine? How are we supposed to know what a vending machine is? Also, A button, B button? What are you talking about? Why are you breaking the fourth wall? I've also put a fat chocobo on board here. Come on out! Presenting fat chocobo! We can rest in the bed in the back, if you know what I mean. Nudge, nudge. Uh, no thanks. Dorge is calling. Huh, are you leaving? Yes, the rest is up to you. First, obtain the Earthfang, which lies in the Cave of Darkness to the north of Amur. Then, come to Dorga's house. We'll have something to give you. Hang in there. Let's meet again at Dorga's house. I guess that's the, uh, companion leaving sound? Yes, we have the Airship Invincible. Take off! And we have new flying music. We're not as fast as we used to be, but the new flying music is pretty awesome. I don't remember where I am. Uh, where am I, game? Oh, you know what? I'll just cast Sight. We have not actually... I, well, I think we did early. And I did rest. Oh, oh! I know where we are. I know what that is. Okay, well, first of all, I think what we want to do is go find a Salonia. Which is going to be all the way over here. So, unfortunately, the, invi the Invincible is a lot slower than the uh, um, Nautilus. But, you know, hey, it gets us to where we want to go. I don't think we can actually go through the... Uh, um, the high wind area to, uh... Ah, that's this. Uh, let's see. I guess technically I can go this way. <clears throat> I really like this flying music. Uh, incidentally, the Nautilus is there. Uh, we're gonna want to get it out of there, so I am gonna have to walk and pick it up. Uh, but for now... So that is the high gear. Uh, let's go ahead and exit. Whee! Slid right down that ladder. Eh, luckily these guys are going to be easy. And we have easy access to uh, healing, so I'm resting. Unfortunately, there's no, like, holy water, because monsters stay away, but that's, that's Final Fantasy for you. I don't think until you get, like, a, the charm bangle in uh, Final Fantasy uh, VI do you have that op uh, option to uh, not encounter enemies. Hello, seahorses and giant horned fish. No, don't 
fight. Magic! Bolt 3! That will murder everything. Aneto. So basically, I just want to move the uh, Nautilus to an easy-to-access area. And there is an argument for using the Nautilus when you want to get to places that uh, you don't need to uh, have the uh, Invincible for. Simply because it is super fast! Hi, sea serpents! You look so goofy. I still enjoy- I, I do really like the Nautilus. It is a great airship. Take off! Wrong button! So this is how the uh, um, Invincible can go over mountains. It's not that it can just fly com over them entirely. It can just jump them, essentially. Uh, there is a Chocobo Forest there. But we have a village here, and I just totally just did the wrong thing. Whee! Fargabod! Hello! This is Fargabod, a town of people who are trying to master the Dark Swords. Wow. You, you, you're, you're the innkeeper, though. Well, yes, in, in my spare time I try to master the Dark Sword. High Potion, Carrot, and Midge Bread. How does the Midge Bread let you see the, uh, um... Uh... The world, anyway. Alright, that's a revivi Revivification Spring. Hello! The Dark Sword can only be handled by those who have overcome their fear of darkness. None but the Mystic Knight can use it. I think that's entirely accurate, actually. Alright, so we can buy an Ashura sword, a Yoichi bow, and Yoichi arrows. Again, Yoichi bow so late for the, uh, uh, the hunter? I mean, again, the hunter does have access to uh, white magic, so it's not entirely useless, but uh, we want an Ashura sword for now. I'm not sure if I need two just yet. Just yet. Demon mail and a demon shield. We'll buy the demon mail. I've got some shields that I can probably sell. The Phantom Blade Masamune is said to rest somewhere. I'd love to hold it in my hands just once. It's said only dark swords work effectively on the monsters in the Cave of Darkness north of Amur. Many have gone there to test their skill, but no one has ever come back. How do they get there with the... There's a secret passage there? How do they get to the uh, uh, cave north of Amur without the Invincible? Long ago, there were those who mastered both, both the Dark Sword and the Holy Swords and could use all weapons. If I remember correctly, those people were called Ninja. Really? Seems like Ninja are more... Like, I don't know. Never mind. Some monsters split in two when they are hit by any weapon other than a dark sword. Yes, I've encountered them. The monsters of this cave can only be defeated by dark swords. Alright, we'll keep that in mind. But first of all, let's hit up the magic shop. Hello! You have level 3 magic. Interesting choice. Oh, actually, yeah, you know what? I think the, uh... I think the Mystic Knight can cast some magic. I think some translated as uh, Paladin. Um, how do I? Oh, I see how I get there. 
Before we talk to that guy, yes, we can go down this way. Let's investigate this little island with a strange pillar. High potion. Demon armor. High potion. Probably shouldn't have bought that demon armor then. Demon shield. Yeah, probably shouldn't have bought that. Uh... Oh, well. Hello? I am searching for someone worthy of this Kiku. I wonder if you can defeat this monster. What? A shinobi? Well, fine. Let's... Let's murder the shinobi. Uh, here, have a bio. And have an arrow. Oh, nice critical. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Um, I, I think I've defeated your shinobi. Splendid! Well then, take this blade! Received Kiku! Anything in here? Nope. Alright, whoops. Alright, before we go into that cave, uh, I think we need to, well, we want to, uh, change Ald into a Mystic Knight. Get out of my way. Damn it! Move it. Damn it! Damn it! Fine, I'm going in here. Haha! -ha, tricked you! Alright, first of all... Let's remove everything. Now we finally change into the Mystic Knight. That is what the Mystic Knight looks like. And now I can equip the Kiku and the Ashura. Uh, we do not have head armor. Huh. I'm actually not sure what we can equip. Um, actually, you know what? I think I might want to change Crow into one as well. Can we equip the, uh, the power ring? No, apparently not. That is actually kind of surprising. Where are my carrots? I'm missing the carrots. There's the carrots. Alright, two Mystic Knights. Let's go ahead and equip the uh, demon armor. And we'll buy two more uh, two more swords. Alright, so we've given everything. Um, I want to take a few things and sell some. Now, I actually can't recall if the ninja can throw or not. And I think it can, which is one reason why I'm keeping all the weapons. Um... I mean, I suppose I could sell some stuff. Well, I should take the uh, shields. I don't need the shields. Alright, you can't use the uh, ice. You can't use any of these helmets. I should sell some of the armor, too. Yeah, you guys... You guys can't use anything. That is really annoying. Alright, 
Alright, how much money do I have right now? Um, might not be enough. What else can I take? What else can I take? Well, I've got some armor that I'm probably never going to equip multiples of anymore. I'll sell some of those. Sell some of those. I don't really... well... It does resist bolts, so I should probably keep some of that. I'll sell one of those. Sell one of those. Sell one of those. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so before we head into that cave, we're probably going to have a little bit of an uh, item selling run. Simply because I need the, uh, need the cash. Alright, sell. One. Yep, sell the demon shield. Sell the diamond shields, Aegis shields. Alright, let me, uh, now buy... Oh, that was, uh, quite a bit. Two of those. Alright. So, there we go. We've, uh, got two fully equipped, uh, Mystic Knights. I suppose I could have sold up there, actually, now that I think about it, but I wouldn't have been able to buy the, uh, other stuff. Oh, well. I got plenty of carrots. Still, Salonia is a place where you can, uh, um, do that for free, so it's not an unreasonable thing to go there, either, if you want to save some cash. Alright. Uh, let's double-check to see if anything that they sell here can be used by the Mystic Knight. Nope. Oh, well. Alright, in the next episode, we'll head through their cave. The cave of Fargabad. See you next time, everyone. Oh, actually, you know what? Um... Yes! I can use, uh... I can use white magic, it looks like. Um... Yep! I can use white magic. Uh, I may go buy some off camera. I think I'll do that. Uh, I will see you next time after I have uh, gotten the white magic that uh, Alden Crow can use. See you next time, everyone.